Murdoch is the largest engine on the island of Sodor. He pulls long, heavy freight trains all over the island. Despite his size, he is quite friendly and enjoys peace and quiet. Murdoch is one of the few engines who can keep the trucks in order. They know not to try any tricks with an engine of his size, yet he often rides so smoothly that sometimes they respect him. But that all changed when a new group of very spiteful tankers came to the island. They were owned by several companies, and they loved to screw around with their brakes. You could have at least waited until you were over the points to break down, Percy. Yeah, these tankers are being complete tossers. Percy wasn't the only engine having trouble. It got to the point where the tankers' tricks were disrupting not only the railway, but the roads as well. The Fat Controller made a decision and spoke to Murdoch. You're very good with trucks. Do you think you could handle adding a few tankers to your train tomorrow? Uh, I don't see why not. It's what I was built for. Ten tankers were added to the back of Murdoch's heavy goods train the next day. Percy watched him back down onto the massive train. Take care of those tankers. They caused me a great deal of trouble. Don't worry, I'm not a little tank engine. These are big engines trucks. Besides, I saw the guards checking all the brakes. The trucks overheard this and passed the word all the way down to the back. Oh yeah? Let keep telling yourself that. Let's have some fun. <laughs> But the trucks were no match for Murdoch's mighty strength. Well, at least when he started up. He found the train heavy, but nothing he couldn't handle. More of the truck's rude and noisy comments that irritated him. Boy, you stink, Mr. Orange! I said quiet! Can't we get some peace here? How can we have peace and quiet when there's a large snorting orange hippo pulling this train? You're one of the loudest engines I've ever heard! Ow! Murdoch kept them under control until he reached Gordon's Hill. The tankers began playing their brake games. Oops, our brakes failed again. Try getting up the hill now. Because the train was so long, getting to the top did not become any easier. Come on, you bastards! Quit screwing! Oh, all right, as you wish. And they suddenly released their brakes just as they went over the top. The gravity suddenly accelerated the heavy train. Whoa! Murdoch fought hard, but the train was too heavy. Come on, what are we waiting for? Supposedly for a goods train to pass. But it's been several minutes now, I want... Well, that's more like it, I guess. The train raced along the line until Murdoch finally got it under control, just as he reached a depot. But the specific loads for that depot overran the platform. 
Oi, could you back up, please? Can't access the vans if they're not at the platform. Ugh. Tomorrow, I think I'll put those tankers up front behind me tender. Then I can control them more easily. Fortunately for him, there were only five tankers the next day instead of ten. Even so, the couplings were extra tightened and the brakes were adjusted heavily. Now you listen, you loathsome lot! I will have no screwing around today, or else you get a bang! Oh, yes, sir! Of course, the tankers didn't mean it. They immediately tried to play their old games when Murdoch left, but were swiftly bumped. Ouch! Ouch indeed! There's more where that came from! We checked over the brakes of those tankers, and many of them are faulty. Not all of them, but you might want to speak with the owners to get them replaced. Yes, I'm having a chat with Phil Boggestoon today. He owns a few of them, and it seems like a larger problem than just one company. The trucks were all well behaved until they reached the first drop-off location. I tell you, I'm sick of being stuck behind the fat ass of this great orange creature. Murdoch gave a huge bump as they pulled into the station. He didn't realize that he had bumped so hard that the wheels of the first tanker had slightly derailed and had sprung a small leak. Hold oh, back. Let's see if he can pull us this time. All clear. Come on! Come on! Put some welly into it! I think one of them derailed. No! Oh, I'm gonna pull you to pieces if you don't stop moving, you mother... What the hell just happened? It looks like you did pull them apart. How the hell are you both still alive? Your engine should be in pieces, let alone the crew! Miraculously, no one was seriously hurt. The front fuel tanker had ignited, which caused the propane tankers to burst. The station was evacuated, and the fire crew were there almost immediately. Other trains were waved to a stop by the guard. The fat controller rushed to the scene. Murdoch was in quite bad shape. I'm sorry, sir. I didn't know there was a leak. I'm usually good with trucks. Ugh. Indeed you are. This isn't a failure on anyone but those goddamn tankers and their faulty brakes. No tanker on this island is going on any trains until their brakes are inspected. I guess I'm not going anywhere either. Just to the works for a long job. Just look at my tender. I'll make sure you get the best repairs. We can't go without our really useful strong goods engine, now can we? That made Murdoch feel a little bit better. It was a big mess to clean up. The surviving trucks were all very traumatized and swore never to mess with Murdoch again. The Fat Controller was as good as his word. All tankers were grounded until they had been inspected or repaired thoroughly, or shown proof of inspection from the mainland. This meant that fueling diesels was not as quick, which some were not too pleased about, but the engines all helped to keep everything running smoothly. We've inspected most of them by now. We believe it was a manufacturing issue as most of them between certain dates had those faults. We've either repaired or discarded them. Yeah, just as I thought. I had a chat with Phil Boggestion, whose company owns a few of them, and that was his theory too. That would explain why some of his did and others didn't. Those tankers over there are owned by him, but they were older and passed the inspections. Uh, but trucks are a bloody nuisance. Once you fix one aspect of them, they always seem to find another way to be mischievous, wretched things.
when Murdoch was repaired, he felt stronger than ever. He was glad to be away from the noisy machines at the works, and to be back in his peace and quiet. Hello, Murdoch! Back from blowing up goods, trains! <laughs> You're one to talk! I heard you had an accident recently where you weren't even able to handle one. 